Hello, everybody. This is uh, All Washington again. This is part two of the um, rant entire communication. Um, last time I left off by while well, talking about uh, communication, I gave a definition of communication. Um, and, uh, you know, and now and I was uh, not left off to start talking about the term leveling. And uh, the term leveling, uh, leveling a situation is basically is that you have the skills set to uh, diffuse a conflict, conflicted situation where, you know, your significant other, like say, for instance, your significant other is attacking you with words and stuff, and the words are very hurtful, and you, and human instincts, you want to attack back and stuff. So what leveling does is that it diffuses the situation by choosing what you say wisely to diffuse the situation. So instead of, you know what I'm saying, attacking, if they, like, say, for instance, say, for example, your, um, your significant other saying like, Oh, you you just ugly and stuff like that. And I don't like you. You ain't nothing but a, you know this and that or whatever. You know, but a B or whatever stuff like that cuss you out and stuff. What you do, you calm down and you diffuse the situation by leveling. You say, hey, what is where's this coming from and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, I'm sorry that you feel this way, but however, what can we do to resolve this situation? You know what I'm saying? What what is it that I did to you to cause you to feel this way? Let me listen to what you got to say. Then you listen to what the person has to say. Then you come back and uh, you you express your concerns too, which this um, goes in also by leveling. Leveling also is um is the under does like I said it's the underlying conflict. It it um um underlying conflicts it go unresolved. Because the one, uh, because the partners fails to voice their feelings, irritations, and preference, and neither are aware of that they are holding back. You know what I'm saying? So in other words, you know what I'm saying? When when you have a conflicted situation stuff, it, it is very, very important, very vital for you to uh, honestly express how the way you feel. Don't hold back how the way you feel, but at the same time. You have to be calm and be respectable at the same time about how the way you express how you feel. Now, by this, uh, it's very difficult for some people because I know it's different people out there. You know, different people have different personalities and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Different people have more, you know, different personalities. So it may be more difficult for you to, uh, you know, um, to be at a calm state and to, uh, you know, really, really, really... Um, Practice this technique that I'm telling you by leveling and stuff. You know what I'm saying? But it's not impossible at all. It may be difficult, but it's not impossible. With all things that, that you do in life, is, you know what I'm saying? Especially stuff that you're used to doing, uh, it takes practice. You know what I'm saying? This particular thing, uh, it takes practice for you doing it. It takes for you actually putting yourself out there and literally, you know, if a person, you know, attacking you or whatever, sometimes it takes for you take for you to put yourself out there and just take it. You know what I'm saying? Take whatever verbal thing that they saying or verbal abuse that they tell telling you about, verbal communication that they're telling you about and stuff, and you do your best to level the situation. You do your best to, to balance it. To, to say, okay, why you feel this way? Okay, let me understand how the way you feel. And then when you listen to what they say, then you repeat back what they just said. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, with the same example of stuff, you know what I'm saying? The person saying that they have um, issues with you and stuff like that. Once they express how they feel about you, you say it back to them. Like, okay, so you saying that uh, you have an issue with me because I talk to you this, I talk to you this kind of way. I do this to you. I'm not doing this right and stuff like that. Is that what, what you're saying? Then the other person has no choice but to say, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Or no, that's what I'm not saying. If they say, no, that's not what I'm saying, then you ask again, like, okay, I don't understand. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to get an understanding of what you're talking about. Can you explain to me what are you talking about so I can understand you? So I can understand so we could come up with a... Um, of a resolution of this problem, you know what I'm saying? So they have no choice but to explain it once again. Hey, this is what's going on with me, blah blah blah, this and whatever. And stuff there. Then at that point, you don't lash out at the person, you like, okay, all right, I understand that and stuff, you know what I'm saying? I understand that. Then you like, okay, well, here's my concerns that I that I have. Then you start expressing your concern, okay, there's this and that and that and that. Then the person, if they start lashing out, you're like, no, nah, I don't mean it that way. I mean it like this and stuff. And you, what you're doing, you're leveling and stuff. You're balancing the equation. You're not, uh, in other words, just like I say, you're diffusing the situation. It's the way it won't be 
worse than what it is. And just like I say, this technique is to it is very difficult, uh, especially if you want them type of person that you're very verbal, you like to win all the time and stuff. This is going to be a very te very difficult technique for you. Or if you want the persons who's very soft-spoken, don't like to speak up for themselves, this technique is going to be very, very difficult for you as well. But just because it's difficult, that doesn't mean it can't be mastered. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't mean that you can't do it. It's impossible. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're saying that you love this person, you do whatever it takes to make the relationship work. You know what I'm saying? So, um, going further into um, the ingredients of communication. Now, another key ingredient of communication, which I was emphasizing earlier, is listening. Like I said earlier, stuff right, you have to have the skill to want to listen. And in this particular thing, you have to listen. You you have to you you have to discipline yourself to not want to lash out at the person that you're talking to. You have to discipline yourself to where you have to be under, in other words, self-control. In other words, you have to listen. You have to listen to what they're saying and listen to what they're saying. Don't listen. And oh, matter of fact, a key thing that most people does, men and women does, is that when they listen, but they 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 listen to try to attack the situation. They listen to, to try to um, prove their innocence. Or try to want to prove that they're being victimized or try to prove something to, to try to build them up. You know what I'm saying? But that is totally not the way to do it at all in communication. When you're listening, you have to be disciplined to truly listen to what the person's saying. Key in into everything that they're talking about. Don't disregard nothing that they're saying. Don't I know that even that um it, it be it be you know thoughts that come into your mind and stuff that you be saying like, dang, this they is saying some stupid stuff. Why are they saying this stupid stuff? They're so dumb and stuff. But just because you're thinking it, that doesn't mean you have to verbally express it in that way. Because when you express it that way, what's going to happen is that instead of you diffusing it, you light on the fuse. In other words, well, what you're doing is that you setting the fuse and it's going to Make that other person explode because what you're doing, you're making them feel like they're inadequate, make you feel like everything they're saying is irrelevant, and make it seem like that's that you're more intelligent than they are, and all these other things. So you don't want to do do that to the person that you care about and the person that, that you love. So listening is very, very important. You have to sit down and listen to what the person's saying and understand what they're saying, you know what I'm saying. Then, which it goes to the next one. As I'm saying, you have to, once when you listen, you have to understand what they say. You have to understand the point of view or what they're talking about. You have to tune in to what they're saying and understand their point of view about it. You know what I'm saying? Then from there, you can, you can go through the process of diffusing and you go through the process of really communicating to try to resolve any type of conflict that's going on. Now, there are certain obstacles that 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 um that hinders effective communication, that hinders good communication. And I want to want to share these two obstacles with you, which I probably already said it, but I want to reiterate it with you. These two obstacles that hinders good communication, effective communication, is this: one of it is pride, the second one is selfishness. Pride. Uh, prevents us from accepting criticism and admitting that you're wrong and receiving advice. Let me say it again. Pride prevents us from accepting criticism, admitting you're wrong, and receiving advice. When you're so prideful with stuff, if you have a pride mentality and stuff like that, and you're so prideful, you, you don't want to hear nothing that a person has to say because you think you're right. You, it it has to come to a point in your mind that you're not right all the time. You know what I'm saying? You are actually could be wrong and stuff too. You have to consider one's feelings, you know what I'm saying? Especially the person that you love. You have to consider that what you're saying 
is being hurtful to them, that you are actually destroying their integrity, that you're destroying their spirit, that you're destroying everything about them and stuff. And pride, just like I say, pride is a number one killer in communication and stuff. Then the second number one killer in communication is selfishness. Selfishness. Now, this selfishness keep us from seeing things from our from our um from from our um makes point of view from our husband or wife girlfriend or boyfriend point of view and stuff. You know what I'm saying? A selfish person is not interested in accepting and understanding others, but they but they so desire for one person to understand them. So in other words, what I'm saying is this is that. When you're selfish, it's all about you, 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 and nobody else. It's all about how the way you feel, and that's it, and nothing else and stuff. That's what it's all about, you, you, and you, and only you. So when the person tries to give you uh, constructive criticism and stuff, or try to critique how the way you are and stuff, instead of you listening and understanding what they're saying, you you go into this defense mode right in the now. Now, I ain't that, and I ain't this and that. No, 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 blah, 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 this and stuff. And go into this um huge defense mechanism stuff you have to break you have to break that barrier of defense that you have in your heart and stuff you know what i'm saying now you have to break that barrier and allow for constructive criticism to take place when constructive cr criticism take place it defeats pride it defeats selfishness and it's going to birth you into a brand new character that the most high god wants you to um want you to be now um how much time i got I don't got a whole lot of time. Okay, so my my time is on up on part two of this um series. Uh, I'm going into part three of this series. So until then, fight faith with faith, and I'll see y'all.